can you see the challenge that what, what the enemy tries to bring into our life? What does he try to do? He tries to either overwhelm me with the size of a problem, because then I lose my awareness of God's promise, God's presence. I become impressed with the problem. He wants to overwhelm me with my own lack of fruitfulness so that I remain in hopelessness. He, he really wants me to get introspective, to evaluate, okay, there must be sin in my life. There's got to be. There, this wouldn't be going on if there wasn't. Either that or I didn't really repent adequately. Or maybe I didn't repent at all. I thought I did. I cried. <laughs> and what, what's happening? is he's getting us from turning our attention to the, from the nature and promise of God to who we are without him because we never go inward to find out who we are with him. Anytime we review the events of our past, apart from the blood of Jesus, we are visiting a lie. We are engaging with a lie because that reality no longer exists. That sin is now defined through the blood of Jesus, redefined completely. 